Jumble, day two. It's the beginning of day two. I've, honestly, it feels like we've been on this a week already. This one's intense. It's full on. It's absolutely awesome, but it is full on. Speaking of full on, I'm now about to do luggage Jenga to see, hello guys, how are you? To see if we can fit Max and I's luggage into the SVJ. Pack light, people, pack light. Day two, let's do this. Some really special cars on this here. This hero is doing it in a Carrera GT. <laughs> How cool is that? What's your favorite car so far? I'm pretty impressed actually with the 70s 911 yeah. Carrera RS. That's very cool, right? It's sort of like, kind of like, not doesn't uh, stand out like the sort of hypercar. No, but it's but special. To do it in that. It's very it's cool. really special. It is super, super, super cool. Gumball has made this a national holiday. It's quite amazing. As a result, they've allowed the kids from schools to come out and check out Gumball. It's really How amazing. <laughs> Tell me about it. Okay, so what you'll see we have is effectively a Gumball lane. So these police here, see these guys? They are stopping every junction and even this lane. And if, if any car is in this lane, they push them out of this lane into that lane so that gumballers can cruise through. It's like some sort of diplomatic envoy or something. Wait, look, at it. look at it. So they just move all of the traffic out of this lane. Special lane for us. Special lane, the double lane. Day. Yeah, the whole day through an entire country. Where else in the world would you be able to do this? But you know, the bigger we get, yeah. the countries are wanting to kind of celebrate us. It's, a, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look, they get really angry as well if someone else is in the lane. So Cambodia announced it as a national holiday, right? The minute a public event, so even like schools, as we saw earlier, and workers are allowed to come and see Gumball today. Billboards, heartfelt welcome to Gumball 3000 in Cambodia. Not too shabby, that, huh? That, oh my god, that was slightly embarrassing. Uh, we were just sat in the traffic, <laughs> having a chat. <laughs> and they were closing the entire road for us, waiting for us. <laughs> <laughs> Some surreal stuff goes on really here. It's oh, absolutely ridiculous. So how are you finding uh, your first gumball? Nuts. It's, it's nuts. nuts here. Does it feel like it's only the beginning of day two? <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a break on a yacht somewhere in the middle of it. We do. So uh, Krabby were there for two nights, which on gumball oh, is nice. unusual. And Today then... isn't so bad because we've got the uh, foundation uh, dinner tonight. Right. So it's, so it's a slightly, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, slightly shorter leg. Tomorrow's a big one. That's a big day. That might be 10 hours driving tomorrow. But how is it? How is it spending time in the car uh, GT? It's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, you know, I worked on the car way back in the day and had a few rides in it. We have it out here in the streets here. It is de the police, you know, the barricade stuff, just like shooting down these boulevards at it's amazing, at right? high speeds and the sound. You're following you guys. Yeah, it's just insane. And they've, they've closed an entire road just for Gumball. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Well, it seems like that where every every country we go, they close the yeah. country for Yeah, Gumball. it's incredible. Best for me, the best. You drive by these uh, school kids, they go nuts. They go wild for it. It's and so I always good. think, about the way I think of that is like, all right, like future, not only future, future car enthusiasts, but future Porsche customers. Right, <laughs> exactly, right? He's being very humble. Could you tell us a bit more about your involvement in the Carrera GT program? Yeah, well, there's a lot that's been written, written on that. It's a really long story. I mean, it's a project that basically started in, I would say, 1999 or so, okay. as uh, I think it's pretty well known that the 1999 effort for like a, uh, Le Mans racing car, basically a Spider, yeah. uh, with the V10, yeah. uh, was cancelled. So we we were in Le Mans three years in a row, 96, 97, 98, with the GT1s, designed by Tony Hatter. They cancelled the, the Spider and had this V10 laying around, so a group of people got together and said, well, what can we do with it? What can we do with it? Okay, we're getting out of Le Mans. We're uh, climbing into the SUV market, which is a big savior for Porsche, so financially, it's an excellent car, by the way. And at the same time, uh, develop a Carrera GT, the next supercar after the 959. And you were involved in developing this car? Yeah, well, there was a team that was basically started taking place in California, and they worked on it, and I came back and kind of monitored it and things like that. They were a little rocky, rocky road, and at the end, uh, just basically came in and just uh, did a big uh, rework on it. And that's what uh, gave us like a bang, the go ahead for Paris 2000 for the uh, right. show car to be introduced. What a piece of Porsche history, unbelievable. Yeah, what yeah. A thing. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, it still looks good today. I mean, it came out in what, 2004 or something? The in initial artwork and drawings and ideation for this car was in 1999. I mean, that's a long time ago, yeah. 26 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, 25 years ago. Incredible. We've just withdrawn some dollars because we didn't have any uh, Cambodian currency on us. Thankfully, they take dollars pretty much everywhere in, in the region, which is convenient. And we've just filled up the SVJ for $32. 
<laughs> I can get used to that. <laughs> That's good going. We've regrouped with the Carrera GT. We've got some support team over here as well. And I just love how the SVJ looks out here. It's very, very cool. Thank you so much. Right, while we're here, we might have a little look in a shop and see if we can get some grub. All right, let's go. Ah, speaking of DDE, we really need to meet up with these guys. We haven't seen them so far. They actually went to bed of decent time, whereas we went uh, we went fried chicken. Bye, thank you. We went fried chicken chopping at four in the morning. Long story, wish I'd have filmed it. So we got this pretty substantial biker gang now that has decided to join us as an unofficial official escort. They're really good at clearing the traffic. All right, lunch stop, Lakeside, Cambodia. I don't know whereabouts we are in Cambodia, somewhere between Phnom Penh and Angkor Wat, Siem Reap sort of area. So this is gonna be awesome. Traditional local food in what looks to be a very traditional establishment, no less. So that's what I like about Gumball, you know? It's uh, from the outside, you'd be forgiven for thinking it's all five-star hotels and, you know, luxury, but it's, it's much more than that. It's about meeting the locals, exploring the culture and going to places where, frankly, even if you came here on your own, you'd never go to. So look at this. Oh, the food here looks incredible. I'm gonna be right back for some of that. Check out the location of this place. Everywhere you go, Looks like somewhere out of a National Geographic book. It's beautiful. Look down here. Check this out. Are you kidding me? I'm such a tourist. I, I love it so much. Just these places that you see. How cool this is. So thankful to be out on trips like this. Just awesome. The only thing with trips like this is, if you want to stay in a convoy, it means you've got to leave with the convoy. Which means, well, lunch stop's going to be five minutes. Smash and grab. One of these would be amazing. One of these? Please? Thank you. That's it? Wow. Mm. It doesn't get better. I mean, it's cold to the point of being almost frozen. And incredible. What a thing. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. Thanks a lot. We're literally the last ones to go. You saw the grid a minute ago. This whole car park was full of supercars. Now it's totally devoid of any, except for us. Hey, how are you guys doing? At least we're gonna be in an SVJ convoy, so that's that's good news. And I feel like I've been a little bit deprived recently of the Gintani exhaust system. Well, these boys had an incident with their car. They broke down behind us and Max had to make an appointment with the government of Cambodia. So we had to go ahead. Sadly, we didn't catch up with them. But today we can roll all the way into uh, Angkor Wat, which will be spectacular. All right, I don't know if this is an upgrade or a change, but the... Uh biker gang of Cambodia has left us. We've been joined by this more official looking police car, which we did a really good job of moving folks out of the way. It's still yeah. highly cool. Yeah. This is very real, right? Cows, they just run in the middle of the road. If you're in a convoy of Sweden supercars, that's what that guy's for. Okay, we've got our biker boys back. Support squad. squad. No, those are not all their friends. <laughs> oh, now we're running. We've also been joined by two Chirons as well, casually. It's quite amazing that these guys are just doing this for us. They also act as like this sort of leapfrog pack, and the few go up front to scope things out. They must have comms because I think when one guy runs up ahead and stops at T-junction. He stays there, his friends go up front, and then later on he'll overtake us after our convoys work through. They're super helpful. <laughs> Isn't that cool? No wonder everyone knows we're coming. Thank you, Cambodia. <laughs> yeah, Thank you, really, Mongo. really amazing. Oh, wow, look at this. These guys are, oh, wow, they're going nuts for it. <laughs> look at this, right, next town, look. They're just, they're stopping everyone. It's so crazy. There's two, three, sometimes six police at every junction. 
Right, so check out this. It's just past this police car here, look. All these people standing on the road are police. Oh, wow, look at this. Wow. That is incredible. It is real life Tomb Raider stuff. Look at these trees. I mean, everything here is literally nature. Here we are in an SVJ. <laughs> the juxtaposition of scenarios Gumball puts you is phenomenal. I love it. I don't know where to look, it's just incredible. I don't have enough cameras. <laughs> I need more angles. Look at this place. So that's the official entry gate, huh? To Angle Wat. And I'm assuming this is like a UNESCO World Heritage Zone, right? Yeah, I mean, even to drive cars in here is a special thing, isn't it? Max was just saying, like, the whole day, we feel like we've been on the set of a National Geographic shoot. Only it's Gumball style. There's literal monkeys on the roadside. There are literal, it. there are literal monkeys just sitting on the road. So, can you share with us a little bit more about what's happening tonight and yeah, the so significance of, of this moment? So, you know, as we're here in this magical kind of uh, surrounding ancient temples, we've got permission tonight to host our annual charity gala dinner and, and uh, auction at a temple called Bayem Temple, which hasn't been granted permission to have a, an event there for over 10 years. It's considered to be the most uh, prestigious and only, I guess, normally sort of royalty and you know, yeah. Gumball Royal, royalty now, all of us, I think, no, no. are really special, so we've got a, a dinner there this evening. You can pack in or take a sample photo in here. Yeah, okay, okay that's enjoy. cool. And then we go back. Yeah. Okay, so as part of Gumball Week, we are giving away pairs of Brand JWW sunglasses to people all over the world. All you gotta do, and this is on a push to the million subscriber mark over on the Mr. JWW channel, all you gotta do is like, comment and subscribe after I pin a pinned comment at the top of this video. We'll be choosing people at random from there. Get your comments in, make sure you're subscribed and we'll reach out to get in touch to get your face a pair of these specs. Okay, I was just doing a very top line walk around here, blown away by the beauty. I just bumped into this man who happens to be Secretary of State, Ministry of Tourism. And your name is Cooch. Cooch. And you were telling me some mind-blowing facts. Right. Starting with in the 14th century, there was a million people here. 12th century. 12th century. 12th century. At the peak of the empire. Wow. The king would sit up there. Sit up there on top of the stage. Magic. And then tonight, we are having our own event here. Absolutely. Thank you so much for hosting us. I, I, I really appreciate how special it is to have an event here. Tonight, so it means a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Tonight going to be the official uh, Bailey dinner Fabulous. and celebrate you guys' 25th anniversary of that war. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Looking forward to it. All right, we're rolling out. Unluck here's Gumball setting up for the evening ahead. I mean, he's not joking when he says we're having a gala dinner within the temples. Temples, dinner. <laughs> You know that scene in Forrest Gump where he's talking about sideways rain? Yeah. This is the sideways rain he's talking about. There's this crazy storm that's just blown in from out of nowhere. A second ago, the wind was coming in so strong from this side, the rain was literally traveling past us sideways. They don't do rain by heart here. When it, when it rains, it is full-blown tropical. You can tell this is a people used to the weather because if this was the UK, no one would be here. And to be fair, I don't blame them. It is tropical downpour, but everyone's, everyone's still here. It's amazing. Right, we've got to our destination for the evening, but yeah. that's not where straight the content the hotel ends. Is straight past the grid or you can go left if you want to. But straight to the hotel is straight on. Thank yeah, you are probably at the hotel. Uh, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Right, thank you. you. Right, so the video isn't ending here. This is just right. our parking Happy point. Signing. And we're going to be uh, taking you along for this. Uh, this hello, buddy. How are you? We're going to be taking you along for this uh, incredible auction evening amongst the temples. So stay tuned for that. All right, seamless transition. We're all wearing matching deuce bag suits. We're like, mate, we are so late. This is so special. Look at that backdrop. We are in the Angkor Wat temples having a formal ball foundation dinner. This hasn't happened outside of government ever. So it's an incredible privilege to be here. Thank you very much, Cambodia, for hosting us. You are wonderful, wonderful people. And this camera is not doing that justice. Uh, there's some proper rock stars on this uh, step and repeat. Look at you guys. 
Oh. Okay, so the traffic was so bad getting into uh, the temple that we are really, really late. But tonight, to that backdrop of the temples, we have the Gumball Foundation charity auction taking place. This room is full of gumballers. This gives you an idea of the size of the grid and how many people are on this rally. Look at this. A lot of people on this rally. James is the stage. Give it up for James here. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, everyone. We are really excited to be able to bring you to the mix um, a fantastic opportunity to join myself and the Cognito Factory in Anglo in Sweden. Now, you're going to have some time to have a factory tour, understand and get under the skin of what makes this wonderful brand so special. Gumball isn't all about five stars and supercars. It's also about pulling together these wonderful people, their influence and resources to contribute to something much greater. For example, Gumball has built a floating football pitch out here in Cambodia, which is going to uh, an area which is deserving of it. And the Gumball Foundation contributes to causes all over the world. And it's occasions like this where we've just raised over $600,000 that go towards the Gumball Foundation to support these wonderful causes so thank you to everyone in there thank you to everyone down this lens supporting this channel and uh we'll see you tomorrow i can't believe it's only day two we're all on day three